Komatsu 39PX. We have a situation where there's no GPS. Um, this is an MC2 uh, system with the sensor on the blade and the uh, antenna on the blade. The antenna actually looks good and you can tell by that pin right there. Um, we still yet need to test it. I've tested this cable already and all you need to do is take your multimeter and test through each pin and make sure that you have continuity going through it, which there is. Continuity just lets you know that some wires are attached. It doesn't let you know if data is going to be able to pass. But the other thing I noticed when I came back to the MCR3, it had two cables here. Um, one looks like the original. Somebody markered bad on it. <laughs> And the other is uh, the one that was attached for the GPS. Now I took my multimeter and did a continuity check between this cable and the hood mount terminal to see which one it was connected to. It was connected to this one, which you can see the uh, little screw cap, I guess you will, is missing. But uh, the ground came up on both of them. <laughs> which was weird so we're gonna check that out and see what uh, how they actually wired this down in there uh, ground it only has one cable in it's either connected there or there not sure why ground is hitting both of them so we'll take it apart see if we can repair it all right so all I had to do was pop this open and I physically switched the GPS cable from that side to this side and this was the original side that GPS cable was on. Uh, they just disconnected it and I don't know what they did with it. They pushed it down in there somewhere um, and they disconnected it over there and they just put an extra cable in and ran it. So uh, yeah, that one broke off. Had a little bit of dirt in it. Just sprayed WD-40 in it. Alright, I think we're good to go. Alright, so we reconnected everything, we got the GPS cable connected up, uh, and we have the antenna connected up, and now we're ready to test it. Alright, so let's, let's check this thing out, see if we have GPS. We got our MCR3 put back together, Christmas tree lights are coming on, the main is chirping. And we got our GX60 with the uh, 3DMC program firing up. We'll take a look at the uh, firmware. Most of the time with the firmware on these guys, these older boxes, they're not upgradable. So you're kind of stuck with that or whatever firmware is in there. You can only upgrade these things so many times. Um, it's kind of like an old Commodore computer. You, you cannot update new stuff on it. <laughs> It'll crash. <laughs> This one's taking a minute. Come on. Wake up. Time to go to work. I can already tell it's probably got too many files on it. We got sensors. GPS still has an X over it. Let's take a peek. It's, we're not reading anything. It's got the 4.7 D5 firmware distance to base is zero your base is on yeah. your base is on yeah. all right so there's nothing here so what we're gonna have to do uh, go in and, and do a factory reset on the main we'll open up true we'll go into device we'll connect network main connect we'll factory reset it and tools come on tools and factory reset yes and X out of there X out of there go back into 3DMC there it is and see if it fires up now 
waiting for satellites. I just checked these cables continuity. So we had continuity, but we may also have a bad antenna. This antenna is not reading anything. All right, so we'll go back out. We'll go into true. Connect back to that network main. I gotta calibrate this screen for them. All right, let's go into status. And as you see, there is nothing, no life on this antenna. Tracking time is zero, there's nothing. It's not tracking anything. Do something here. Go to settings, control panel. Come on. I told you what to do, machine. Why aren't you doing that? Control panel. There we go. Down towards the bottom. on here sometimes it's on the screen yeah there it is if it's not in tools um, settings it'll be right on the screen calibrate touch screen all right that's better All right, so first things first. All right, so first things first, we gotta check. Uh, there's no satellites, so that GPS antenna is not active. Just take, disconnect that cable, test it for voltage. Should be about 4.5 to 5 volts. So we have five volts coming out of the MCR3. So we have voltage coming out of the system, which is good, but no voltage running through that cable. So the next thing to check is to make sure it's running through the under hood cable from MCR3 to junction box. So we'll actually take this off and we'll test it. I uh, might just have a bad cable. All right, so we have voltage from MCR3 to junction box right here. No voltage running through this cable up to antenna. So even though we had continuity going through it, the voltage will not pass through it. Isn't that interesting? All right, so I had to make a cable end for this. I hope it works. It's not quite all the right parts. <laughs> uh, this is the thick coax cable. I only had it for the thin coax. We'll try it. All right, makeshift cable. Let's give that a try. nothing so what I have to do that which what I found out I have voltage coming from the MCR 3 to here and I can test it right there there's voltage coming out of there but anytime I put a cable on it it won't read past this point so we're gonna put a new uh, new little terminal on there on both sides so, I don't know, it's weird. I've tried uh, two different cables and it will not pass voltage out. So something's not making contact, either the negative or the pin, the positive. So we'll just swap them out and give that a shot. All right, so we are tracking satellites now. It's not picking up on any of them yet, but it is tracking satellites. And all I did was bypass that adapter and uh, I tried their cable their cable didn't work so I put on a test cable and sure enough 
that works so they're gonna need a cable there we go we're starting to grab some satellites now so that's good and we're green so that's good all right so let's put the uh, the little adapter in there and we'll give it a shot see if that works and we are tracking satellites again this time I put the adapter in and put the test cable on and ran the under hood cable GPS cable running back to the MCR 3 so yeah the combination of things they had a bad adapter and they had a bad uh, antenna coil cable so uh, we can at least get them up and running today and there we go all better and green ready to go to work <laughs> 